Hello everyone, this is Margot from Celestry and today we will look into the uh, Airtable app and more precisely the Airtable vocabulary. So first of all, Airtable is a uh, online collaborative spreadsheet and when you arrive in your Airtable account, you uh, can find workspaces which are uh, collaborative areas where you will find your databases. So here, are, for example, I have four and uh, those database, for example, we'll use the no-code game database here for this example. So those uh, database are made up of uh, tables, which are the sheets that you have. So here, for example, we've got two and each table is divided in records, which are the lines uh, with a unique identifier um, as the first column. And it's always a text type of column. And there's also the fields, which are the other columns that you can find on the side with value properties, uh, such as simple text or a date or an attachment, basically anything. So in the fields, you mainly have the possibility to create um, link to another record type of field or to another table, which allows you to uh, link two tables together. So for example, here we'll link it to our second table. And when we create this field, um, it will make it possible for us to activate the, the lookups uh, field, which uh, can fetch information from another field to another table. And it will also enable the rollups, uh, which are basically lookups uh, conditioned by formula. Uh, there are actually many formulas that you can use in Airtable, uh, which are not the subject of the video here. So I'm just going to link in uh, the description of this video a page with uh, a lot of uh, formula references for Airtable that you can use. But what is interesting here is that those Airtable formulas can be uh, used in Celestry to condition, for example, the operation recover of uh, the Celestry uh, Airtable block. We can also quickly have a view at uh, the embedded view, so which are the integrated view, basically, uh, which is one of the other interests of uh, Airtable because it allows you to share a table or a special view of uh, a table. So for each table, you'll start with a uh, default grid view, which is basically a table view, as you have here, has a spreadsheet. And on the bottom left here, you have a lot of different type of views that you can create. So for example, we've already created a calendar view, which will show you simply as that a calendar view, uh, the gallery view, which appear in uh, maps, you'll have the convent view in uh, some sort of Trello post it. And there's also the form view, but there's many other as you can see, uh, the form view, which uh, allow you to create a form allowing someone from outside of your database administration, either publicly uh, or uh, protected by a domain name or a password to create a record line in uh, your table. And once you've created uh, the view that you want, you'll be able to uh, share these views simply in, in clicking on that link on the site, which is share view. And as you can see, there's the embed this view on your site on the slide. And by clicking on that, it will open a new tab where uh, you can view the integration of your database in either a, a desktop uh, preview or a mobile preview. And you also have uh, on the top here, the possibility to copy the uh, so embedded URL that you have between the brackets and and then to copy it in a uh, web page of your Celestry experience and Celestry menu. We can now go back to uh, our table where we can have a quick look at the Airtable apps that you have on the side as well, which are extension that you can add to your base so that it's on the right side, as you can see right here. And they allow you, for example, to create statistical representation uh, of your data, to create a map for your data. You can see that there's a lot of opportunity that you have and you can subscribe to the app sharing better to take advantage of the apps in an embedded version in order to integrate integrate them uh, in uh, to your Celestry app. So you'll find more information for that in a link put in the description of this video. And finally, we can have a quick look uh, at also the automation uh, that you have as well on the side and like 
Zapier or Integrum integration are also uh, present in Celestry and uh, which can allow you, for example, to automate many processes with the condition of a data change. So for example, you can use Celestry to and create buttons for automatically send personalized emails and messages in Microsoft Teams, add answers to a form, schedule an event, etc etc basically the possibilities are endless so that's it for the quick presentation of the Airtable vocabulary i hope it was useful to you and i will see you in the very next video